Hey, everybody. Thank you for joining, regardless of when and where you may be listening to this one. This is our alum spotlight. I wanted to share more stories for, for players that have come up and through Fire FC um, to share with current members and, and just to check in on where are they now. Uh, Mark is, is a unique one in that uh, he's in Grand Junction, Colorado, um, and, and he's found his way, I think, into a very neat niche um, within our community. So, Mark, without me kind of sharing anything and everything in this space, I'll, I'll let you do the honors and, and give our audience a, a little bit more about you. Yeah, so I'm Mark Holberg, like Nick, like Nick said. Um, I am currently in Grand Junction. I'm a staff coach here at, um, at Fire FC. So some, most of you guys probably know me as Coach Mark. Um, but I actually grew up playing for the club. I moved to Grand Junction when I was about eight years old. Um, started out playing rec. And then um, as I went through, I started competitive. And I was uh, originally on a United team for a couple of years, um, just because I wasn't quite ready to make the jump to Premier. Um, but when I was 13, I did make the jump to Premier. Um, and kind of stayed there all the way through through middle school, through high school, um, until I graduated. Um, had a great experience. Had the honor of being coached by quite a few very good coaches that really shaped me um, as a player and as a person um, and helped me improve and, and really fulfill my dream of playing in college one day. Um, that didn't go quite exactly how I planned it um, through a couple injuries, um, but I... I really enjoyed it and I loved it, even though it wasn't exactly what I imagined. Mm -hmm. um, and then after college, I just kind of found my way, find, found my way here. Um, and a lot of the reason for that is I just, I wanted to give back to the community that gave me so much um, and felt like I had a, a really unique perspective um, on, on the club, having grown up recently playing here. Um, so I, I kind of feel a little bit of a connection with, with the kids in the club and, and that it's so close to where I was not that long ago. Deal. Well, can you uh, expand on the a part of your story that, that you had touched on, which was you made that change from United to a premier team? Um, hindsight, uh, always we think of things differently, but do you feel like looking back on it, were you chasing that premier opportunity? Did you feel like, what are these coaches thinking? Or were you just like, there's, there's a good space. Like, I, I don't feel like I, I, I'm resentful for it. Like, were you good with that um, at that time? Yeah, so at the time, I mean, 10, 11 years old, you don't make the top team. Um, I knew that that's what I wanted, but I was, I was happy with where I was. I was loving playing. Um, and I definitely don't look back on the two and a half or two years that I played on a United team as a bad thing at all. I think it was really good for me and it helped to to kind of shape the player that I wanted to be um but as as I got that second year rolling I kind of decided maybe I want to I, I want to really make the the top team next year and so I um was able to start training once a week with the premier team kind of to just get used to playing at a little higher level maybe the coach sees me maybe he likes me and uh keep improving playing at a higher level um and then tryouts came along and I made that premier team the next year and it was it was awesome it was great nice how about uh now looking back what do you feel like you probably miss most about your club days are gone oh man yeah it's definitely I feel a little bit of nostalgia every time uh you know I'm around the kids and and, and the teams because I'm like ah that wasn't that long ago for me um it's really such a unique unique time and special time in in your soccer career um, once you get to, even once you get to play in high school and, and, and then to college at the next level, it's, it's, it's very different. Um, it's less, it's less fun and more of a job. And so I think I look back at, at those, those days of United premier up through high school is like playing for fun and just wanting to get back, get better every single day to improve. And it's always fun hanging out with your friends. I had the, the, the honor of uh, having a lot of the same teammates all the way through club. Um, and I still keep in touch with a lot of them and, and I would consider them, them close friends. So, yep. Yep. Sweet. How about um, you said that injuries took you into a different path when it came to the college, but how about just segueing into college based on what you know, what do you feel like is the best 
piece or pieces of advice for that 5RFC player right now who might be a sophomore or junior saying, I, I think I want to do this thing, meaning playing play college, what would be your best piece of advice for those, those players? I think my best piece of advice is as tempting as it is to, to go after a bunch of random schools that you know nothing about. For me, it was a lot more meaningful to find a school that I really cared about outside of the soccer program find a couple of those schools and then see if you're at the level that those schools are at. Um, I think it helps narrow down your options because I think it's really daunting to look at the hundreds and hundreds of college programs in the country and say, where, where do I want to go and where wants me? Um, so I think that there's finding the school that's right for you is super important. And then also the program has to be a good fit, but I think in my experience in college, I saw a lot of kids who came just because they got picked up out of nowhere and they didn't really care about the school or the people there, or the education that they were getting there. And so when they didn't get the playing time they wanted, they transferred, um, which is a whole new realm of college soccer that has even changed even in the last two years that since I've, since I've graduated. Sure. And then uh, let, let's not even, well, yeah, let's kind of fast forward to today. What, what is Mark Halberg doing now that your college playing opportunities are done with, your club has come and gone? What, what are you up to now? Yeah, so like I mentioned before, um, I'm a staff coach here. I have two teams, um, two girls teams, and I am doing some stuff in the club with the uh, over 40 league, um, as well as I run the rec, the girls, the girls side of the rec program, um, and starting to kind of delve into a little bit more programming um, setting up different camps, hopefully, as well as kind of delving a little bit into the psych sport side of it, okay. um, which we've worked together a little bit on. But um, yeah, it's something that I'm really, really passionate about and hoping to hoping to really implement and help kids here. And when it comes that. to that sports side, did you go to school for that? Or has that just been a, a, a kind of a side hustle of yours to get yourself educated more um, in that space? Well, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so it's something that I found like as a player growing up at first, um, you know, I think everyone goes through periods of struggling with confidence and struggling with performance. And so that's one that I took upon myself in high school to kind of educate myself a little bit. Um, and I just, as I went into college, I, you know, trying to find a major and trying to find what you want to do, um, psych made a lot of sense to me because it's something that I was passionate about and it's it's something that's so important in life and in sport. Um, and so I decided to go get my undergrad in psychology, um, taking a couple of sports site classes and, and just continuing to educate myself in that, in that realm. Nice. So you and I have chatted about this. I, I know off camera with regards to this just really isn't a space that to my, to my knowledge, to our knowledge, it probably isn't covered that much, especially in the grand Valley. So play that hypothetical card, fire FC family, is watching this and there's like that'd be brilliant for my kid is that a space you're looking to facilitate a little bit more for those interested being the individual or a small group um certain ages what, what would be your uh, your take on that yeah i would definitely be open to open to having a service that that if if wanted that kids can kids can use and kids can take uh take and use to improve themselves in their game um yeah i think it's a really untouched part of sport in, in youth sports especially that um that's it's really important to learn those those skills for your sport and and just life skills as well um to build a strong mindset to build a a growth mindset to try and grow every day and how it's uh, it's about the process versus just what happens um i think that there's a lot to that in sport and even more so in life so for sure well there there you heard it from mark so if, if your son or daughter are looking for that edge um, specifically mentally, right? Uh, not just necessarily for off the field, but how it pertains to them on the field. Um, he's going to be a great resource. So feel free to reach out to, to him at your convenience. Uh, for those of you watching this, you know probably how to get a hold of him, being that his, his contact info is, is on the website. So not a hard person to get a hold of. Um, so for, for everyone that uh, tuned in on this one, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in and taking the time. So until next month, this is this month. Thanks again.